Hello and welcome to C++ Weekly. I'm your host Jason Turner. I'm an independent contractor and trainer. In this episode I am going to pick back up with where I left off in the last episode. So now this is our second episode in negative cost C++. In the last one we cut a code about in half and this one we're going to do not quite as good, but we're going to continue to clean up some inefficiencies in our code. And we will continue to make this code better and better as we work it out through our examples. So in the last one, I made this const expert um, interrupt service routine registration. And that is working well for us. And now I'm going to do a quick little look through our setup code and see that we are making multiple sets to PI wonder and multiple sets to P1IE register here. So we're not going to go the full route of cleaning this up as much as possible, but I'm going to demonstrate how we can make this a little bit better. What we need to do is create a handy wrapper around our calls to our registers so that we can merge these things into one call easily. Now there's multiple different ways that we can handle this and we're going to go with I guess the simplest to implement for this case just to show what's possible. Now, because we have some C++17 features, we're actually going to be able to take advantage of our folding expressions from C++17. So we're saying we want to take the current value of our reg pointer, dereference it, or that with the ORs of all of the bits from the values passed in, and then we may as well return a reference to this volatile because we can do that for free. So now we are going to simply create an object of type register that represents the two registers that we want to use in this example. So the code, again, for reference, is currently compiling at, let's see, 57, 59. We have a couple of extra symbols showing up here. Let's just comment it out real quick. We've got 55 instructions in our Compile Explorer view. And actually, let's change this so it is returning void. And similarly, for our PI, P1IE reg, we can do the same thing. And now we can see that our resulting code is now 53 instructions. We saved two instructions. And part of the problem is that we were resetting bits that had already been set. And part of the problem was that we really should have just been setting them all in one go. Because with Volatile, the compiler is not able to optimize this. So by merging these operations into one thing, we are able to set it up all at once and we're able to save a few more instructions. So we're going to take this code in a later episode and clean it up some more and put it into our MSP430 object that we created previously, possibly, so that we can do initialization of our MSP430 at um, the startup of the program 
or uh, maybe we'll leave it here, but either way, we're going to keep cleaning these things up and making them more user-friendly. So we're going to take the work that we did here, and we're going to keep cleaning it up and making it more user-friendly in later episodes. Be sure to subscribe, follow me on Twitter, and check out any of the links below.